What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Jacob's Mitsubishi in Newport Ritchie, Florida. And guess what? Since you guys asked for it, we never gave up until we were able to find one of these. This is it. This is the first ever all new 2022 Rivian R1T, but it's not just a regular R1T. This is the launch edition of this electrified truck. So before we get into this all new truck with all electrified power, let's talk about what's going on here. Rivian, they are a new kid on the block, so to speak, in the automotive lineup of different brands. What they are focusing on is purely electrified vehicles and they decided to be smart about it and go with this truck. Now, what's fascinating, everybody seems to be chattering a lot. A lot of the brands seem to have their hair on fire, rushing towards electrification. We already brought you the GMC Hummer EV truck, of course, other EVs like the Teslas, and of course, even vehicles like the Chevrolet Bolt. Where this Rivian falls into lineup is going toe to toe, not only with the Hummer EV truck, but also with that new Ford Lightning truck. That's Ford's full electrified, full size pickup. Now what's interesting is that with this being a launch edition, it has what's called the adventure package. And it's got a lot of different technology. I can't wait to show it to you. I know because you've been waiting for it. So let's go ahead, let's find out, is this the best new truck? No matter what you're looking at, is this the best one to buy for model year 2022? Let's dive into our Rivian and find out. Right off the bat, the size. This is not a full-size pickup truck like the Lightning, and it's definitely not as large as a GMC Hummer EV. Think Ford Ranger, but add about six inches to the length of a Ford Ranger and also stretching out that wheelbase. At the front, they did a bang up job making this truck look unique. You're gonna have your LED daytime running lamps that actually flow all the way across. We got LED turn signals and of course, LED multi-beam headlights. Look at the way they designed the interior of that headlight housing. And I like the way it's got the Rivian name. We drop down, we got more functionality. Not only a functional corner air curtain on both sides, but also LED fog lamps. I think it was so smart to do some flat black. Then you got some gloss black. Then we got these massive, ugh, massive tow hooks. This is gonna pull those four lightnings out of the mud, out of the dirt. And what was smart is they did the flat black around the bottom portion. Now, as we come across that lower area, we do have a grill. And the reason why we have this lower grill is because this does use a liquid cooled ion lithium battery pack in the belly of the beast. You have active grill shutters, which I'll have Steven kind of zoom in and show behind the grill that open and close. You got a forward facing camera, very important when you're off-roading. And I just love how you have this nice, real aluminum finish underneath. Of course, we got protection along the belly of this truck. So when you're going off-roading, and speaking of off-roading, this does have an air adjustable suspension to raise and lower the truck. Right now we have it in normal mode, but if you put it in say sport, it lowers the truck. If you go off-road, it raises the truck. Now, as we rise up to what would normally be the hood, underneath here, there's no engine. We have electric motors. And what's crazy is compared to the Ford Lightning and the GMC Hummer EV truck, those trucks have two and three electric motors. This has four, one at every corner. I love the way they did the Rivian badge, very unique stands out and this is gonna be a truck, like I said, that I think is gonna make some history. Now, the great news is this does open up and I will show you that in a little bit to have storage up front, but we got more to show you on the exterior. As we come around, check out the wheels and tires on this beast. Absolutely love the style. You have this black chrome, dark chrome finish with the gloss black, massive six piston calipers, with the Rivian logo on there. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of this wheel? It's a 20 inch wheel. And then on top of that, we got those Pirelli Scorpion all-terrain tires. It's got the protection in the sidewall. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size? 275 on the width, 
meaty 65 series sidewall. And I'm gonna have Steven kind of zoom in and show that air suspension. You could get a little bit of a glimpse of it right from behind that area. Now, as we kind of back up a little bit and focus on this area, having the Rivian name, having, of course, the badging, like I said, one electric motor each corner. We got regen braking. You could get your one pedal operation. Rotors are over 13 inches in diameter. Just a little bit of flat black. Check this out. As we kind of come around, they have cameras all over this place. More cameras than the security system at your local bank. So we got cameras built into the fender flare. I do have it locked. So that's gonna electrically tilt in the mirrors. We got the LED lighting just like up front, your 360 degree cameras. Look at the way the Rivian name just pops right off the side of the vehicle by having the silver and the yellow. And then Steven's gonna show that aerodynamic treatment to the fender on the backside. This is what I'm talking about with this truck is that you could have a larger vehicle like this R1T, but it could be aerodynamic efficient and it has to be because we want to get that range. Now, I'm six feet tall. This is normal height. You can see the height of the vehicle. I like the way we got the flush door handles, just a little bit of flat black, and I think that's smart to have it on the bottom portion. Good size rear cab window for the rear seat passengers. Another thing you're gonna love about this truck is not just about the frunk. I know Ford's got a frunk. The GMC Hummer EV's got a frunk. That's a front mounted trunk. We actually have a tunnel, a passenger tour, a storage tunnel. I'm gonna show you how that works once we get to the interior. Working towards the rear, you're gonna have an electric folding rear tonneau cover. So you push a button inside or out and this will slide open and close. Look at the way they did the arrow work on the back of the cab with that roof spoiler coming off the rear. And then as we come towards the back, just a very rugged, bold body style. Nice flared fenders as you would expect on a truck. But like I said, this is smaller than an F-150. Now, when we get to the rear of the vehicle, what do we got going on here? We got our LED lighting all the way across. You got that Rivian badge looking really good. R1T, I'm actually gonna run over here real quick to grab the keys because I wanna showcase what else is going on back here. So. Let me lower it down for you. We're gonna drop it down. You got that silver aluminum finish. We got all of our tow hookup located behind this cover that pops off. And then watch as we lower the rear tailgate. Really nice setup on how this is gonna lower. Check it out. One, two, three. And then you're gonna hit the button up here and then it's gonna come right down. Boom. So nice wide on the opening. You have plenty of space. It's already got the bed liner built in. On this side, you got all of your hookups for the air compressor. Lock that down. On the passenger side, what do we got? We have, of course, all our power hookups. Those own power sources. You got the power tonneau cover. And then to wrap it off, you're probably saying, well, Joe, what about, what about some kind of spare? Watch this. I lift up this handle, but bam full-size off-road tire spare located underneath this back area. What's great about it is you don't have to worry about it hanging underneath. Close it up, seal it up, lock it down. Why don't we go ahead, let's pop open the frunk and the side compartments and talk about the performance of this EV. All right guys, time to get underneath the hood where the front mounted trunk is. I'm just gonna take the key fob, I'm gonna hit it twice. It's gonna open up now. Compared to the Lightning, it's a little different. The front grill area, the front fascia does not rise up with the hood like on the Lightning. And the Zonk is you can't use this as a cooler. But you got about 15 cubic feet of space up front. We got all of the charging accessories for our Rivian R1T. You even have a 12 volt, which is a nice touch, right up front at the vehicle. Now besides the space, like I was saying, we have four electric motors. Combined producing 835 horsepower, 908 pound-feet of torque. It is connected through that 128.9 kilowatt per hour battery pack that's liquid cooled. The truck weighs 7,173 pounds, zero to 60 in about 3.3 seconds. And if you're wondering, well, 
Joe, where do you charge this thing? Watch this, check this out, this is really cool. It's all the way on the driver's side, but what's nice is it's still at the front of the vehicle. You're just gonna push that button, look at that cover. There is your charging port, and if you're wondering about range, on a single charge, the estimates are 314 miles. That equates to MPGEs in the city, 74, 66 on the highway, and the crazy thing is this thing does the quarter mile in 11.9 seconds at 110 miles per hour. Now, it's not just the frunk that's really amazing on this truck, but as we come around and we close that front mounted trunk, slide down the passenger side. You could also slide down the driver's side as well. Check this out. You actually have a tunnel storage area. Not only storage, but I'm gonna have Steven kind of showcase where that home power source is. I'm holding up the cover for him. But that gives you nice, lockable, dry storage in the side of the vehicle. Think about how many trucks that's just wasted space. How smart is that? And then you just go one, two, three, close it up. But you know what? If you're ready, I want to see what this inside of the Rivian brings for the money. guys we're inside this 2022 rivian r1t launch edition i know you're saying to yourself well joe everybody in my freaking neighborhood has a tesla tesla says they're coming out with a cyber truck i haven't seen it yet and i think it's going to be a while but i'm liking this rivian the big question is how much is it very good question. MSRP for the way that this launch edition is optioned is right around $81,500. Let's see how it stacks up to the competition to the door panels. Absolutely love what they've done at Rivian. That's real open pour wood, nice dark stain, leather treatment up top, contrast stitching, aluminum finishes around the center of the door panel where the door handle is more stitching, and then you have these large pockets which will easily fit two foot-long meatball subs, extra parm from Subway, and I'm loving the speaker grill covers on the doors, very elegant. Now going from the door panel to the dash, same story, the leather, the stitching, be careful on this open pour wood because if you rub your wood too hard, you will get a splinter. We got the launch edition badge, nothing too gaudy, I like the way it's got the Rivian name carved into that wood. And then coming to the center stack, we have a 16 inch infotainment system screen. Now the great news is it is that horizontal setup and I do like the way it's nicely nestled within the wood of the dash. Obviously navigation, all touch screen. We got three stages of ventilated seats, three stages of heated seats. To get into the AC controls, everything is through the screen including moving the vents. So as I move up here, it moves the vents down below. I don't know if Steven could show that on camera, but the vents are actually moving as I move the little snowflakes around. That's how you're gonna be able to open and close those vents. A little complicated, and it's gonna be interesting to see what those look like down the road. But once you get the hang of it, it it's actually not too uh, bad on trying to figure out how to make it work. Going into the all-wheel drive, there's our Rivian. We got our different modes, all-purpose, sport, conserve, off-road, and towing. Depending on which mode you choose, will raise and lower your Rivian all through the air suspension. You got your regen braking. You can change that from standard to high. And you could also do your ride quality, soft or stiff. I know some people like it extra stiff. Stability on, reduced, or off very easy to figure out. It's actually showing us our ride height right now, 11.5 inches. Cool to see that technology. We then hit the next screen. There is our R1T. You got your trip modes and everything else. Tells you your VIN, tells you the exterior color, Red Canyon. Loving the style on this thing. The one thing I'm a little let down is gonna be cameras. So we throw it in the reverse. 
not the clearest of resolution, but you do have the 360 degree cam. And then of course you could look out the front, but as you can see, it's a little grainy. That's like a 480p uh, on the resolution quality. But then I go right back in the park and we're right back where we started. There is an update. You can hit let's go, but we're not gonna go. We're gonna get the heck out of here and I'm gonna go right back to navigation. There's our air vents, nicely nestled within the wood. Down below, you got a large area where you could easily put, I would say, two loaves of Wonder Bread or a purse, a purse, a bag, a sack, a satchel. You wanna see a magic trick? Hocus Pocus Alakazam. We got a Bluetooth wireless speaker, Rivian style. I could walk around with this on my shoulder just like back in the 80s with a boom box. Stores in there nicely. You need cup holders? Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. There's your cup holders. The only problem is they're a little on the small side. So you're gonna not, you're not gonna be able to get that super slurpy like you wanted. You're gonna have to go small. Slide that back. We got a place to hold your phone. Nice little place to maybe put some marbles, maybe some tokens, maybe some coins, maybe a picture of your girlfriend from high school. If you're married, you probably shouldn't have that, especially if you're not married to the girl from high school. Armrest is pretty soft, but watch this. One, two, three, bombs away. Felt lining, two USB-Cs, and tons of storage space. You know how much space you have back in here? You could put that football that you had Tom Brady sign for you, you could put it in here. Remember how you went to uh, Denny's and he happened to be there getting a grand slam and you're like, hey, can you sign my balls? And you happen to have two footballs, you could put one of them right in that area. And then the seats, superb. The leather, the nice finishes, very classy, contemporary, and sporty down the center. Of course, full electric assist for the passenger, full electric assist for the driver. The one thing, it's not the Alcantara microfiber suede material, the one thing I'm gonna have to majorly zonk in here, no shade for this glass roof. And I'm telling you right now, you can see from the perspiration on my head, the beads of perspiration, it's hot as heck in here, even with the air on. But why don't you come over to the business end? I want to show you behind the flat bottom steering wheel in our Rivian. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel of the Rivian. Now, what I like about the side door is that you get these wonderful pockets that extend out. So that's why you can get the two meatball subs in there. Rivian on the sill place plate. It would have been nice to have some aluminum, but I love what they did with the pedal box. Nice, large aluminum dead pedal, brake pedal and throttle. Very interesting floor mats. Totally recyclable. This is vegan leather, by the way, if you were wondering. You don't have to call PETA. This is vegan leather. You got the seat controls on the side. I'm six feet tall. Plenty of room here. Steering wheel, nice flat bottom with the leather around and that Rivian badge. Very simplistic on the steering wheel. And then you got that large digital display. That makes it more like a regular car. I like it when you got the two screens. The frosting on top of this cake is going to be a special touch that you're only going to find on a Rivian. Check it out. We actually have usable flashlights, LED flashlights, when times get tough, when times get rough, right there in the door. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the back seat and see how your passengers are going to enjoy this Rivian. All right, guys, back seat time in the Rivian. And this is very surprising because, like I said, it's not a full-size pickup truck, but you got full-size space back here. Way more than a Ranger. That's for freaking sure. But on the backs of the seats, I do like the way they did the material. Very interesting touches actually make it high class. You could actually put, I would say, one personal pan pizza. Make it a meat lover's. Get the sausage, the pepperoni. Maybe even put some anchovies on there. I don't know. Whatever floats your boat. Back command center, we do have AC vents that you have to move with your hand, not buttons. And then we do have the AC control synced with the front. All touch screen, you got heated seats, USB-Cs, and underneath here is a home power source plug. So that's gonna take care of you there. Up top, I got lots of room in here with the wood finish. Pull this bad boy down, wow. Look at this armrest. Not very soft, but you got plenty of room in here for a one pound bag of Skittles. Just pour those in, see the rainbow, taste the rainbow, two cup holders, and then to wrap it off, Seats just as nice as the ones up front with the Rivian badge, but it's about that time. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's plug in and get electrified and go on throttle in this R1T. All right, guys, we're inside this 800 horsepower, more than 800 horsepower, four electric motors. We have it in sport mode. I'm gonna do a little bit of on throttle. 
with that all-wheel drive. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, it's right. Here we go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it really pushes you back in the seat. Uh, you got to watch out for your retinas not to be detached in this thing. I think we should do it again. What do you say? You ready? On throttle! <laughs> yeah! So, right away, what's awesome is with that air ride suspension, you can lower it. I mean, this thing right now is slammed in sport mode. And what's great is with the all wheel drive, you're getting that instantaneous grip. And unlike the other electric trucks that we've driven on Rady's Rise, whether it be the Hummer EV truck or the Lightning, this one has four electric motors. Not three, four electric motors. The layout of everything is very smart in here. It's easy to get to the infotainment. I like the dash, all set up super clean. Plenty of headroom. I just want a little bit of a sunshade. That's all I want, but the seats are great. Back seats, you're gonna be spoiling your passengers for sure. And then you have the augmented reality on the dash. It actually shows where all the vehicles are in front of your Canyon Red Rivian R1T. All right, guys, pulling away. Nice throttle sensitivity. On throttle, here we go. Wow, I'm telling you right now, that speedometer, it's like just looking at the fuel pump when you're pumping gas into your uh, internal combustion engine vehicle, just spinning really quickly. You got your navigation on the left, speedometer on the right, augmented reality in the center. Feels really good behind the wheel of this Rivian. One pedal operation. This is one of those vehicles I could see being very popular because it feels like a regular truck nice weight from the steering but yet you're getting that instantaneous torque that just pushes you back and the regen braking those nice six piston calipers really a great sensation overall what i'm going to do is let me move the camera around and i'm going to show you a different perspective in this review all right guys change the angle a little bit you can see the great layout all the wonderful graphics, and there's that augmented reality with all the vehicles around us. Very cool to have that technology. The digital display is nice and large, and as you can see, getting to the infotainment side of things is well within reach. This is where you could change the modes. As we go into sport mode once again, it's lowering the front, lowering the rear, lowering the front to get better aerodynamic efficiency, and I have both feet off the pedals with that great one pedal operation. You actually get used to it fairly quickly. So don't think that it's something that uh, it takes forever to get used to. It really does not take long getting used to that setup. And really just the amount of space in here and the comfortable seats make it a very viable option, especially for somebody who wants that electrified experience. All right, lights green and we're going on throttle. You can see just how easy it is to modulate the throttle with the one pedal operation. On throttle, here we go. Look at this thing, it's like a freaking rocket ship. Unbelievable. And I like the way it doesn't have a bunch of fake sound. Like I don't need it to sound like a regular truck. It sounds like a Tron cycle in a very good way. On throttle. Look at that. Look at that speedometer, it's unbelievable the performance of this thing. Just the challenge is, is that I guess for a lot of people, including me, not having the sound of an internal combustion engine is just, it's just a something missing. But definitely if you're gonna go electrified truck, this brings a ton for the money. Making a U-turn, watch this, so simple. Lower center of gravity means you're not getting a bunch of body roll and then we're right back to where we all started. So I'm gonna wrap this one up. I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been a mind-blowing day here at Jacobs Mitsubishi. Definitely wanna thank Kevin, Joe, and the rest of the crew getting us access to our very first Rivian R1T fully electrified truck. Let me know what you think. Has Rivian knocked this one out of the park? Is this the best new truck to buy, especially for the money? I can't wait to read your comments. 
down in that section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. We need to give it to Stephen Flood and Stephen Flood Photography. Follow him on Instagram. He electrifies everybody's lives. Show him some love in that comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for busting your butt today out here in the hot Florida sun. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.